Here's my molar generator I've been working on over here in Eastern Europe for a while. It has nine coil positions on top and then uh, nine on the bottom stator plate. And it has 16 rotor magnets, 20 millimeter by 5 millimeter uh, disc shaped. And it has two motor coils here and here, two positions of motor coils. There's one on top one below, one on top, one below. So a total of four motor coils. And I have one, one blank uh, position. So it has a total of six generator coils on top and six generator coils on bottom. It's driven by a MOSFET here and then also this coil position is driven by a MOSFET over here. Here's the, uh, the MOSFET is a G4076V5. You can see the numbers there on top. It has a 4421 chip. There's a big diode right here that catches the back EMF recoil flyback spike. And that is a HFA25PB60. It has a little Hall effect here. And another one over here, each MOSFET's triggered by a Hall effect, and that's an A1120LUAT. Generator coils are about 180 ohms each. Um, it's approximately, they, they aren't all of the same. The motor coils are only 12 ohms each, each one. And behind the motor coils, I have two extra coils in series, uh, and they're called pickup coils. They share the core, and those are about 37 ohms approximately each. The cores in the motor coils from the top to the bottom are 35 millimeters long, and they're about 5 millimeters uh, wide and they look like this. This is a little bit thicker, not as long, but see how I have florist wire, strips of florist wire as the core material and inside is oh, just some wood and I covered it with epoxy. So that's what these motor coils are. They're wound on sewing machine bobbins and I used Litz wire uh, many strands of, I think, 32 strands of very thin wire. Uh, each one is insulated. So I'm using, it has a total of three spools of uh, Litz wire. One of the spools is the motor coil, and then the two behind it sharing the core are the pickup coils. Okay, so the cores are 5 by 35 millimeters, and now the generator coils they have a uh, funny shape to them. They're also made out of uh, florist wire, 22 gauge florist wire. And they kind of look like this. There's a little pinpoint that goes to the magnet. And then they're like this. And they're 19 millimeters long, 5 millimeters wide. Here's one I took out of one little pinpoint. This has a bunch of epoxy on it, so you can't see the shape so well. <clears throat> the generator coils look like this, and uh, they are, uh, well the cores are 5 millimeters by 19 millimeters. Okay. The timing of when the MOSFETs uh, trip on and off is done by a little timing disc with 16 small magnets in it, neodymiums. And this goes on the shaft and there's a Hall effect here and one here. And these will turn on and off the MOSFETs through the Hall effects as it spins. Okay, I'm going to Pull this apart. There's the top stator. 
I'll give you a close up Hall effects, MOSFETs, big diode, very fast, very good, nice diode. This is a 4421 chip, motor coil, motor coil. Here's how it looks the other side. The motor coil is about that long, goes all the way through. This pink stuff is some uh, uh, polyurethane foam, very strong, very light. They make uh, concrete float tools of it over here. It's nice stuff. You can cut it really easy, it's really strong. I coat it with epoxy after these are made of it. I can adjust the Hall effects a little bit around. So that's the top stator. Here's the rotor. The uh, bearings are ceramic skateboard bearings. Um, here's the uh, magnets, they all face the same way, north, 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 all the way around. I coated this with epoxy, it's actually kind of a hard board to call it, you know. It works really well, it's very solid, I like it better than plexiglass or acrylic. So, coated it. Uh, these are I balance the rotor. This is solder coiled up. So here's the two motor coils below. Six generator coils. This fits in there. So here's the timing disc on here. And a Hall effect here and here. The Hall effects don't fire simultaneously. And um, so, anyways, there's 16 small little magnets. They're about two millimeters wide, about five millimeters long. So this fires the motor coils. For the generator coils, the two coils behind. That's these orange wires. These are 38 ohms. Here comes somebody. Hold on. Okay, so see if you can see this. I'm trying to. There's about three millimeter air gap between the coils and the magnets. It spins really good. So, that's kind of how it's made. This wood is like, a, oh, I don't know what you call them, cutting boards I got in Lithuania. And that's about it. So, next video I'm going to show it running. Okay, thanks a lot.